Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how an alternator generates an alternating current and how a dynamo generates a direct current. And this is for triple physics higher tier only. In the last video we saw that if a conducting wire passes through a magnetic field then a potential difference is induced in the wire. And if the wire is a complete circuit then a current is induced. Scientists call this the generator effect. Now we can use the generator effect to generate an alternating current and a direct current. So we're going to look at that in this video. I'm showing you here an alternator. An alternator is a coil of wire rotating in a magnetic field. The coil is connected to two metal rings called commutators. The commutators allow the current to pass out of the coil. A potential difference is induced when the wire passes through the magnetic field. And this graph shows how the potential difference changes. You need to be able to describe and explain this graph for the exam. To make it easier, we're going to colour the sides of the coil like this. Now the key idea that you must understand is that the red side of the wire always connects onto ring A, and the orange side of the wire always connects onto ring B. OK, the maximum potential difference is when the coil is horizontal like this. At this point, the wire is sweeping directly through the magnetic field lines at the fastest possible rate. The red side is moving downwards, and the orange side is moving upwards. When the coil is vertical like this, the potential difference falls to zero. That's because the coil is now moving parallel to the field. In other words, at this point, the coil is not cutting through the magnetic field lines. As the coil continues moving round, we get a potential difference again. However, in this case, the potential difference has reversed direction. That's because the two sides of the coil are now moving in a different direction to before. Now the red side's moving up, and the orange side is moving down. And once again, when the coil's vertical, it's moving parallel to the magnetic field, so the potential difference is zero. So the key point is that because the two sides of the coil are attached to two different rings, an alternator produces an alternating potential difference and an alternating current. And scientists call an alternating current AC. Now, if we increase the strength of the magnetic field, then we increase the size of the alternating current like this. We also increase the size of the alternating current if we increase the number of turns on the coil, or if we increase the area of the coil. And lastly, if we increase the rotation speed of the coil, then we also increase both the size and the frequency of the alternating current. OK, now this shows a dynamo. A dynamo produces a direct current. The key feature of a dynamo is that it's got a split ring commutator, and I'm showing you that here. The split ring commutator has two sides separated by a gap. We'll call the two sides A and B. OK, so as you can see, the side of the coil that's moving down is connected to part A of the split ring commutator, and the side of the coil that's moving up is connected to side B. Because the coil is cutting through the magnetic field lines, a potential difference and current are induced. Just like before, when the coil is vertical, it's moving parallel to the magnetic field, so the potential difference is zero. Now the coil has moved around. At this point, the red side is moving up, and the orange side is moving down. But as you can see, the side of the coil that's moving down is still connected to part A of the split ring commutator and the side that's moving up is still connected to part B. So because of this, the direction of the potential difference and current do not reverse when the coil rotates. In other words, we've got a direct current, or DC. The graph shows how the potential difference changes. I should point out that we get two peaks for each full rotation of the coil. That's because each side of the coil passes through the magnetic field twice during each cycle of rotation once passing down through the field, and once passing up. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on alternators and dynamos in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.